what is up you guys welcome to the channel we've got some goodies for the r1 today yes we do boom some new prophylactics for the wheels and yes if i look tired that's because i just woke up and the wife cooked me some wonderful pancakes thank you honey you are the greatest i'm feeling rather full so as you can see i already had the r1 up on the stands both front and rear Yes, please share around with ISIS. So this is what I'm talking about. As you can see, I don't know if the camera's picking this up at all. Very bad profile here, especially the rear. As you can see, the rear tire is just not looking good at all. So this also being the tire that was on the dyno, Brian told me you need to get another tire. Eh, I kind of didn't listen for like two rides, I guess. I had one person ask me, how do I get the camera affixed to me when I'm working on the bike? see this I literally just wrap it around my neck so this one goes down here to keep it from falling around and then this, these two I just kind of wrap around my neck and it doesn't fall off so there you go so I decided to go with the tires that originally came on the bike that was the Bridgestone Battleaxe RS 10 G's I've had other tires I've rode on the Q3's I've rode on several different ones this tire sticks better than any tire I think I've had for the street keep in mind these tires are not made for high mileage at all whatsoever. Oh, those tires suck. I didn't get but 2,000 miles out of them. That's about right. You got about 2,000 miles. That's all you're supposed to get. 2,983 miles. So I got almost 3,000 out of it. I probably went a little farther than I probably should have on this rear tire. Seriously thinking about getting that little piece that hooks to the back of these pit bull stands goes up under the tire raise it up to the height of the tire and then you can just roll the tire in and line everything right up instead of having to muscle it it's kind of something you really don't need but at the same time it's you know makes life a little bit easier Talk about making life easy and you might say oh wow he's spoiled yeah well i did my fair share of fighting tires at the track and putting them on with a, a couple of these things but you know scars up the end of your wheel it's not fun worst part about changing a tire by hand is as always breaking the bead and that was always the worst part so that one's off so and as always you need to line the yellow dot up with the valve stem I never trust these gauges. They're not very accurate. Wouldn't be complete without balancing the wheel. Some people think differently about that, but I did make a video of balancing tires. I personally love this system. It does wonderful. Haven't had a complaint yet. So obviously having a tire machine and a balancer, you tend to get people coming in to or change their tires. I've not had a complaint yet about balancing a wheel. So we're gonna wipe these wheels down. Always a perfect opportunity one of the things that I like to stick to for you know one of my rules of tires I never like to run a tire that's more than a year old call it a pet peeve whatever you want to I mean just whatever if you look on the side of the tire I don't know if you can see this or not if you look right here this says 3117 well all tires have this four digit number on them this tire was made the 31st week of 2017 so roughly somewhere is in what September that's one thing I always like to do is make sure I look at that and see how old is this tire? You ever see people that have a red hot sale on tires? First thing you wanna do is look at the dates on those tires. Cause a lot of times when those tires are getting old, they'll throw a red hot sale on the tire. Keep an eye on that. That's one of my little things that I like to look for. So it only need uh, two quarter ounce weights. Not terrible. Let's go. 
Honey, you can come down here. I mean, I'm not filming a secret mission or anything. And there you have it, brand new tires for this wonderful piece of engineering. So if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and until next time, ride with JT out.